Dynamite Valley, Pioneer, Orange Wheat Beer. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. The sun is over the yard arm. I've got a new pair of bins. It's like I can see everything now. It's like Jesus has put his hand on me and said, those who are blind can now see. And I can see. I was in St. Uh, was it? Morrison's today and I got, uh, I got these for a fiver. And they're doing the job very nicely indeed. So there's gonna be no more Mr. Magoo jokes from me. So let's get on to this beer. I've got a bottle of the Dynamite Valley Brewing Company Orange Wheat Beer. On the side of it it says unwrap for my info y'all. You'd think this was from America wouldn't you? But it ain't. This is from that famous cowboy outpost known as Cornwall in the United Kingdom. They should have called it something piratey. That's where fucking real pirates come from. That's where the fucking pieces of eight and whatnot. Anyway, what do I know? It's an orange wheat beer. Uh, I know nothing about this brewery apart from the fact they're based in Cornwall in a place called Truro or near Truro, and uh, they've been going since 2015. So that's relatively new. Um, looking at the beers that they do, they're quite adventurous. They do some what looks to be some good ones, and um, I've never had one from them before. But already I'm liking their style with the the paper wrapped around the bottle and uh, I've seen that from a, a couple of breweries, usually Belgians and the paper isn't as good quality I mean this, you know, the eco warriors will be going mental when they see all this paper ra wrapped up over the bottle but at least it stops it from going skunky if it's green it could be a green bottle, I don't know, I don't know anything about this beer at all so let's shut up and find a little bit more about this beer Okay, it is a 500 milliliter bottle. Doesn't look it, it looks smaller actually, but yeah, it's 500 mil, it's 4.2%, you know, so it's pretty uh, easy going. Uh, it is an orange wheat beer, what they say, and it's vegan. Um, oh yeah, they're based in, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Ponsonouf. Ponsonouf, which is an area up near Truro in Cornwall. Um, ingredients, water, wheat, malty barley, hops and yeast, that's good. This is an orange wheat beer, where does the orange flavour come from? Mmm, wonder, wonder if that's artificial or not. Um, ideal temperature for this is 10 or 12 degrees. Now I've turned that fridge down because yesterday that was really cold and I tried it on that crystal rice and it really killed the flavour until I let it warm up a little bit and then all the flavour come back so I've turned it down so it should be at the right temperature now. Uh, this beer is bottle conditioned with I dumping the sediment into a glass for full flavour. Right, yeah of course all wheat beer or all good wheat beers are bottle conditioned, they will contain yeast. That yeast will continue to ferment in the bottle, it will feed on all the sugars and give you a more intense flavour. Uh, it gives you the biscuit pairing with this, they say Viennese well, a biscuit pairing. Fuck off man, I don't want to eat biscuits, I want to drink beer. First quenching summer orange wheat beer, that's the taste. All right, so that's what we've got. Here's the, the label. I'll tell you what I'll do. Oh sorry, I've got it made the wrong way. There's the label, here's the front of the label. All right, very, looks very American, doesn't it? When I bought this, I thought it was American. But it ain't, it's from, it's from Cornwall. I'm not gonna do a Cornwall accent. Just think of a pirate accent. It's the same thing. So, um, I'm going to take the label off now, so I can show it to you properly. All right. And let's get it all out in the open. Right, it's in a... Oh yeah, you can see that, look. No label on that, and that is... Brown bottle with the date on it. That expires in October. Here it is. Here's the label. Now that's not the biggest beer label I've seen. I've seen bigger beer labels from Belgian beer. 
But you know what? That looks really good. I do like that, and I like the idea. And you get a beer token for half a pint. Oh, that's good. Oh, so you've got to go down there, right? So yeah, if you go down and visit them, uh, I'm probably going to keep this because I may well get down there. I've got a mate who lives in Cornwall. Um, oh, and it's got a bit about the brewery as well. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hold this up, whether you can see it or not. Can you see that? Right, just pause your video if you want and read up about the brewery. Just pause it now and read up if you want to do that. That's a really good idea, I like that. So let's hope that the bottle matches up to the label. Definitely gonna keep that. I'd use it for starting a barbecue. No, I won't, no, I won't. <laughs> but there you go, I'm talking bollocks out and rambling. What do I do with that? Oh yeah, <laughs> got the glasses on, can't even find the fucking bottle opener. What a twat. Right, there is the cap. So, let's stop discussing my eyesight and let's get this open. Before I do, just a quick word. Um, if the sound quality is a bit different, it's because I've changed microphones. I've had to use my original mic, the, the clip-on mic that I had, fucking broke and it's made by Rode and that cost me a lot of money so I've had to send it back I've just sent it back now to the manufacturer and they were a bit funny about taking it back and I thought I've just paid nearly 60 quid for that Mike and you're getting funny I'll, I'll pay for that in January fuck off out of it anyway that's gone back now so that's why you're hearing the sound quality is a bit a bit funny so I'm gonna get this bottle open now so stand by <laughs> Right, cap is just a silver cap, nothing special. Put it in the collection. In years to come, I will be trying to guess where that came from. Um, on the nose. Oh, it smells really nice. It's definitely orange there. Some yeasty esters. Bit of banana, a bit of clove. It smells quite promising. For a wheat beer, that is definitely looking good. Let's get it into the glass. I'm going to use a German wheat beer glass because at the end of the day, that is a wheat beer. Not much of a head on it. And, uh, it's 500 mil as well. I want to give that a little bit of a swizz. Wow, do you know what? If I didn't know better, I would think that was a, a cider from Cornwall. Oh look, and there's bits floating about. You can see the yeast. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's no head on that whatsoever. None whatsoever. It's very orange in colour, but I can see little tiny bits of yeast. Look, there's a, look, he said, there's a little bit there. Little touch in there. Oh, and there's other bits as well. It's sad, isn't it, when you're getting fucking excited about bits of yeast floating about in your beer. Right, on the nose, out of the glass. It smells really nice. There's some banana and clove in there and very little orange, which is a bit a bit unnerving because when you look at it, it looks like a, an orange drink. No head on it whatsoever. That looks, if you if you get cider from one of these West Country micro breweries with the bits floating in it, that's what it will look like. And it'll either be really dry or really sweet. This is neither, I hope. Mm. Right, let's stop guessing and let's get this down the hatch. Cheers. That is not your average wheat beer. It's flat as a witch's tip. There was some carbonation on pouring it in, but there's nothing there at all now. And it's very flat, it's very smooth, flat mouthfeel too. Almost like a cider. It's really strange. 
I thought it was going to be masses and masses of sweet orange on this, but there isn't. And there's the faintest hint of banana and clove, but there isn't much at all. Mm. I'm not sure whether I like it. Um, it is pretty nondescript. There is a bitter, I wouldn't say bitter, but it's more sour taste to it, which I'm in two minds whether I like or not. It's certainly not like a, a good Bavarian or Belgian vit. It just tastes, hmm. The flat mouthfeel is not helping at all. There's no big flavours there. And it leaves like a slightly dry, bitter orange aftertaste, but it's very insipid. It's not um it's not big at all and from the you know from the description on there I thought this was going to be a really nice one you know like a foamy white head fair bit of carbonation banana and clove and an orange twist to it it's nothing of the salt and it's very disappointing and the thing is it's bottle conditioned and the, the sell by date is the 10th of the 10th this year, so 10th of October, and I don't know how long it's been sat on the on the shelf for, but on the arse end of it, there is like a spicy finish, like you would see in a in a vit, in a Belgian vit. That's the aftertaste I'm getting, and of course, you know, it doesn't say it's a German wheat beer, so it could well be trying to mimic the style of a Belgian, but there's not much in between, and that that really flat. Well, it says it's flat. I can see really, really, really tiny bubbles, which makes me wonder whether this is naturally carbonated. So you'd get, you know, the, when the yeast, when they react with the malt and the sugars, they eat that and they they piss and they puke alcohol. Yeah, it sounds disgusting, but that's what happens and that's what you're drinking. But the burp, the carbon dioxide, they burp, these bacteria when they're eating the sugar, that's your natural carbonation. And I can just see very, very tiny bubbles on this. And I'm assuming that's what that is. It's just natural carbonation. I don't think they've shot any nitrogen through this at all, or carbon dioxide. And I say this was chilled, so I haven't killed any of the flavors. But there's a bitter, bit of finish to it. There's a touch of orange, but no big flavors. Very insipid orange, insipid um, banana, insipid spice, and a light sort of bit of finish at the end. And no carbonation whatsoever. Disappointing. So what's the verdict on this? Well, oh, it looks reasonable. I can see bubbles coming up the top, but the mouthfeel is just flat. So the flavors aren't getting pushed around the mouth at all. Um, the flavors are quite, quite meek, which is really surprising because I could see, you know, yeast sediment in there and everything. I thought this was just gonna be full of flavor, but it isn't really. Um, I can imagine if you had this ice cold, it'd be refreshing, but it would just be for the cold liquid. It wouldn't be for the flavors. Um, it certainly does have a little bit of aroma, but the flavours are just... Flavours are just not there, and there's a bitterness to it. They say it's orange bitterness, but I don't think it is. It's just like yeasty bitterness, if you can imagine that. And it's not great. You had a really nice label. I mean, that label is good. It's there. Um, the lack of carbonation alarmed me, the no, the no head on it, you know, 
if you're going to do a wheat beer it needs that head to drink through that's half the flavor yeah it's dis really disappointing i'm going to give that i'm going to give it a three out of ten and i hate doing that because i hate knocking british brewers but it, it just doesn't do anything for me vice beer wheat beer is my favorite style of beer and this sadly comes nowhere so sorry fellas I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a three out of ten not gonna recommend it and remember beer is working-class champagne <laughs>